My name is Hyun Kim, and I'm an assistant professor of radiation oncology at Washington University School of Medicine. I am presenting a case of a 17-year-old transgender male who presented with a two-month history of intermittent right-sided abdominal pain, profuse night sweats, and 14-kilogram weight loss. Past medical history was significant for undergoing hormonal gender reassignment, female to male, with weekly IM injections of testosterone subhyanate. He had no history of liver injuries, cirrhosis, liver trophic infections, or liver-associated inflammatory conditions like NASH, autoimmune hepatitis, or heavy metal overload. Physical examination revealed secondary male sexual characteristics, including facial hair and acne, and right upper quadrant tenderness. MRI of the abdomen revealed a 17-centimeter enhancing mass in the left hemi-liver with satellite lesions and tumor thrombi in the main, right, and left portal veins. Cornetal biopsy revealed hepatocellular carcinoma with clear cell changes. Androgen receptor nuclear staining was positive in 40% of cells. Liver parenchyma was normal. AFP was 4,300, and hepatitis serology was negative. The patient was treated with yttrium 90 at a dose of 160 gray to the left hemi-liver. Interval imaging at two months revealed post-treatment changes in the left hemi-liver, but new lesions in the right. The patient was subsequently treated with Y90 to the right hemi-liver, followed by repeat treatment to the left and then right hemi-livers. Should the patient remain ineligible for liver transplant, then immune therapy with ipilimumab and nivolumab will be considered. Tyrosine kinase inhibitors such as serafinib and levatinib will be avoided due to increased bleeding risk, particularly with hepatic adenomas. Studies have linked the androgen receptor to HCC with early elevated testosterone and anabolic steroid use, each linked to development of HCC in men. The association of exogenous testosterone and HCC in women is unknown. With the rising incidence of youth and adults seeking hormonal gender reassignment, providers should be cognizant of cases of HCC after hormone therapy and the absence of other risk factors. Further studies are required to determine causality.